But yeah, in stocking stuffers this year, anybody whose breath stinks, you get them a whole lot of candy, right? Because of course they love candy. We already knew that. They got bad teeth and everything. But get them a whole bunch of candy and you get them this tongue scraper. And then be like, I got you a whole bunch of candy, so I got you a tongue scraper so you can scrape off all the from the candy I got you. Um, and remember, Christmas is a season for giving, not receiving. But if you do receive, be very, very grateful and blessed. Good noon and good night, YouTube. It's Amber Manaya. Haven't used this voice in a while, but I'm feeling myself right now, okay? If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so right now, okay? Today's video, oh, and if you haven't, um, <laughs> if you haven't followed me on Instagram, please do, because that's where I get to live my unfiltered life, okay? And if you haven't followed me on OnlyFans, below, okay? I'm new, y'all. I'm scared. I'm scared and I'm new. Anywho, um, and if it's not there, it's because I'm real scared and I'm real new. Anywho, um... This flat iron, I, sorry, today's video is on your Amazon wish list, things that I have accumulated over the year that I want to tell you about that you may need and you want to know, is it worth it? I'm going to let you know that these things on my list are worth it, okay? Um, like this flat iron right here, I already have like four or five flat irons. A friend of mine said she swears by this flat iron and you know, it's Infinity Pro by Conair. I don't trust Conair products. First off, they didn't make that strong of products. So I had to try it for myself and it was only $30 on Amazon. I was like, I can't pass it, don't do it. So I didn't pass it. And it's actually really good. It did, like, I didn't make no baby hair or anything or glue this thing down, but it, it flattened me pretty well. Cause um, little did y'all know, I did this video three times and my hair was ugly two of them. So <laughs> here we are again. Okay, so let me turn this off. Okay, let me get to the list. If you see me looking down, guess what? I got a list, okay? So this is 10 Amazon things that you need. So number one on my list, this little thing right here, it's the mirror. It has two USB ports. So I actually have my phone charger hooked up into it and I got the really long one. And it can go all the way over to my bed, okay? And I like that. Because I used to have it plugged up to my vanity, but it didn't go as far. But now since I have this and it stretches a little bit farther, so can this, okay? Now, this mirror. It's a mirror, right? So now it's really a mirror. And I bought this so I could do like makeup and things so I can hold it and do makeup for you. One day I'm gonna get there. But look at this mirror, okay. Um, so now it's a mirror. Oh, shit, I keep pressing on the button. Pressing that button, sorry. And it's a clock, okay? Now, I like to sleep in the pitch dark, so when I'm sleeping in the pitch dark and this is on, I can't sleep. So we got a lower level for those who can sleep with a little bit of clock. And this is because my phone has a clock, okay? So I don't need this on at night, but it's a mirror. And it was really inexpensive. I love that thing, okay? Number two, these sunglass holders in my draw. These don't have to be for sunglasses, honestly, but it looks really cute in my drawer and it keeps me nicely organized and it keeps my brain open to do more things. Um, you can put anything in here, but I put sunglasses, okay? So that's for the organization lovers in you. Number three, you like to travel with your perfume? Of course you do. But TSA, I mean, this bottle is not gonna get taken away, but if you got a big bottle, like, first off, I just don't wanna carry, this is already heavy, this bottle got garf. Um, and I just don't want to bring my whole bottle. So I actually put the rest of my bottle in here. This is cute on my vanity. I'll never get rid of this. It's so sentimental. Um, but twist up like a scent burner scent box. Spray, 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 spray. And it's perfect through TSA. Jingles. I got the jingles like Jamie Fox. Don't play with me. Um, y'all, I'm lit. I'm lit, okay? But yeah, on Amazon, those come with the five pack. And because look, I have them everywhere. So I can put different perfumes to travel with or just in my purse. Like in my purse, I keep the Onika. I have a little, I'm not gonna go there. But it's really good to, so you can have choices of perfume slash. You could put cologne in it if you want to, I'm gonna go. I don't really think no dudes is about to do that, but if I was a dude, I wouldn't do that because it's not very dude-ish. But if you're Metro, let's go. <laughs> Metro booming, woo. Okay, um, space saving hangers. 
I got some space saving hangers because when I get things out of my closet, my hangers break. It's real hot, it's, I have too many clothes, okay? So with these space saver hangers, it comes with two hooks, one on each end, and then five little duck ducats. And you could put real hangers on each one. And then when you hang one side of it, the rest of them fall down. So that all your clothes are kind of like layered and they're not all just like at the same length. So it does kind of save space in your closet. Now, this is good. I got five. It didn't really help my closet because I still have too much clothes, okay? And for the, um, what is it, minimalist in you, if you have a very small selection of clothes, I, one day I want to get to this, like just to have nice pieces of clothing and not have to have a million, okay? Um, you can hang both the two things on the ends. You can hang both and then each piece of clothing can be one inch apart. And I think that's very minimalist and modern and eventually I'm gonna get there. Just have a big closet and have everything just open, airy and spacey, okay? I'm into that. A very cheap, um, it's a hack. Okay, candle warmer. So this candle warmer that I put in my bathroom, I have a candle warmer downstairs. Amazon has a plenty of different types. I bought my best friend a candle warmer. It, it looks like a lamp. Um, but the light from the lamp warms the candle. These candle warmers are, what is the word, futuristic because they can melt wax melts, which costs like a dollar at Walmart for six and lasts at least a week each, depending on how much you're burning, if you're a real burner. But anyway, um, these candle warmers can warm candles. So I put my candle on about 45 minutes later, the whole candle is liquid. The wick will move. If you want to put your finger in there and move the wick back to where you want as when you turn it off and as it hardens but it gives out a nice fresh aroma i don't know how to use a cigarette lighter okay when i use a cigarette lighter first off i do it wrong and then it's almost burning my nail and as i turn it to i don't know how you're supposed to use it but as i turn it to light something now it's starting to burn my nail up and then the, the fire is out before it gets to what it's supposed to light i can't light a birthday candle okay it's really weird so i usually use a torch but guess what with the candle warmer and the wax warmer you don't need fire oh my god that is a life-saving hack i'm gonna say okay and it looks really cute um the one that I got is very modern and plain, okay? I just wanted plain for my bathroom, but they have a million different styles, so go check those out for sure. Let's see, what do I have else on my list? Number six, stripper pole. If you into that, you into that. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, Amazon had this good one. I like it as silver, chrome, whatever. Um, it does static, it does spin. You will figure out how to use that. I had actually put mine up in my living room a friend of mine, he put it up and he was very strong. Okay, he was tall and strong. He put that shit up really good. And then, you know, I practiced and like the next day I tried to take it down because I don't want it. It was right at my front door. It's just not, I just, just don't enter my house with a stripper pole. When I move and I, I have my dance room and my office, it can go in either one or I can get another one and have one in both. I'm just saying, because I'm into that. Like, first off, I'm a pro, okay? You can tip me if you, you can tip me. Um, but what was I going to say? Oh, when I tried to take my pole down, I turned it the wrong way because it was so tight and I didn't know which way it was supposed to turn to be taken down. And I started cracking my ceiling and I said, yep, you know, I really don't want, um, my daughter's room to fall through from me putting up a pole. So I took it down, put it away and it will be in my office slash dance room. Okay. Number seven, seven slash eight, whatever. Um, before this video, my hands were very ugly, but do you like my nails? Yes, you do. Um, <clears throat> if you've seen my nail videos in the past, you know that I've been doing press-ons for two years, since around COVID started, basically. Um, from Amazon, I get the fake nails. I get 500 for less than $10, and I bought two kits, so it's been about two years. Um, imagine saving, watch the video, honestly, because I could go on a rant on this. Anyway, I got the nails. I got the polish in whole sets. I got the polish holders, holders, which I put in my closet. And it's like I have my own nail studio in there. Like I have every freaking color um, as well. These little life hacks are, you gotta watch my nail video, but these things, I'm not ambidextrous. I can only paint this hand. So when I put, when I stick them onto here, the nails, this hand can paint the left side and the right side because I got left and right. So perfect. I'm just saying all of that has saved me so much money. I probably saved thousands of dollars over the last two years. Okay. So Amazon got you. Tap in. Number eight. 
this, okay. I have wood in my house. I have one rug. For that reason, a regular vacuum doesn't work. I used to have my daughter sweep. It's part of her chores, but you know, I wanted something a little easier. So I got me a stick vacuum and this thing works good. This thing folds down and goes into little crevices that you can't reach like under your bed, behind stuff, under couches. This thing goes everywhere, okay? It gets all the dust and everything, it's perfect. I honestly can do my whole house two different times. So that's like once a week, I can do it like, Mm, two every two weeks I would empty it kind of thing but then the little crazy looking robot came out right the little circle robot I got me one um it was cute like the first time I used it I was scared of it because I was like okay so it knows not to go there and it knows not to go off the staircase I think it's a human and it has human emotions and it might try to kill me it was just like a freaky like a little alien running around and my daughter was in love with it she was like oh this thing is can you buy the outfit Anywho, um, I loved it, but the problem is, y'all know me and my wigs and my hair. My daughter has hair, she be working on it too, so, um, for that reason, some of my hair should be on the floor and they get caught up in it, and then it kind of like, it doesn't work as well. This, you have to empty after each use because it's a, it's a big circle, but it doesn't have a huge compartment to hold all your trash. Imagine that. So, um... I actually returned this one because when I bought it, this wasn't the cheapest one, but it's not the most expensive because sometimes, just because it's expensive doesn't mean it works the best, okay? Sometimes the cheap stuff works just as good. So for this one, I paid about 150, but I am returning it because, you know, I need something a little bit more durable. So I'm gonna see if I pay more in price, will it be able to deal with my hair and things? Like, I mean, the last one did deal with it. It would just get caught in its like little spitty thing. And I don't want I don't want to deal with that. So this new one that I got, I have not opened it because it's gonna to try to eat my tree skirt. And I know that for a fact, my Christmas tree, it's gonna eat my tree skirt. And it's just gonna be picking up a lot of the pine from my kid Christmas tree. So right now we're doing a little sweeping, okay, with the little stick thing, because I still have it, because it was so cheap. Like, what am I gonna do with it? I mean, in price. So I still have it. I still have a vacuum, but I haven't used it in forever, let me just say. Um, anywho, wild rant. I bought myself a new one and it has the mop on it. So it's gonna alleviate another one of the jobs. I still mop, sweeping was my daughter's job, but now it's gonna alleviate both of our jobs. You can literally just sit down and let it work. And for the most part, they usually have an app on your phone. Um, the robot, like I said, it doesn't go downstairs. Um, it goes under beds. It gets all the dirt under your bed. Um, it can't go through closed doors, of course. And it actually, some of them have a map, like this new one that I bought, it has a map on your phone. So you can tell it what areas not to go to. So you just sit down, do what you do, the other things you should be doing, and it does all the work. So um, if the mop is not good, I will let you guys know, but I'm excited, okay? And that's that. Okay. This toothbrush holder. This toothbrush, this toothbrush holder holds about six <laughs> toothbrushes, okay? You see how you put the toothpaste in, you twist it on there, and then you push in your toothbrush and it gives you toothpaste. So now you don't have to squeeze it. And I will say, at the when it's all done, it gets most of, it gets pretty much all the toothpaste out of the tube, which is really nice. Um, it holds up here, you can see I have my placards, my flossing things, which I rarely use. I don't really floss that much, no story. Um, I have my mouthwash and I have my face wash, okay? As well, inside of the little drawer, I just put some cotton rounds and I put some Q-tips, you know, your essentials. As well, there's two cups right underneath that are magnetized for rinsing your mouth when you brush. I don't use the cups, I use my hands, but I mean, and that's why they still have the plastic on it, but it's cool. If you want it, you want it, but I like how it adjusts straight onto your wall and it's a space saver because look at my cabinet. My cap, my countertop. My countertop just has my black cherry merlot and it smells good from Bath and Body Works. If you don't know, you got it. You need to find out. Um, just my hand soap and my scent warmer, of course. Um, that's all I. That's all you should have on the counter. Less is always more. Okay. So um, I think this is a really good gift. If somebody were to get this for me as a gift, I would be ecstatic. But I already have one, so too late. Food labels for the freezer. Only me, it's probably only me, but like honestly, if you cook, the way I cook, I always have leftovers. So I like to freeze them. And I, I used to go back and be like, what was this? Cause it's, 
I don't know what it used to be. So a nice little label, you stick it on, get a little marker, write what it is. It will save you a lot of time. These you didn't know you had are in there. Now you know they're in there, okay? Clear shoe boxes. There's nothing tackier to me at this point in life than somebody who has a shoe collection and they have a million Nike boxes or whatever brand of shoe you like to wear. I I was, it was hard for me to part with my Nike boxes and my shoe boxes, I will say. When I used to have a lot of shoes, I'll say. Right now I have like 10 pair of shoes, which I never wear, but they're there if you ever need them. Um, but it was hard to get rid of the boxes because it's like, no, this came with the shoe. But once you assemble these boxes, they're not difficult to assemble. Once you assemble them, put them nice in your closet, you'll already see the minimalism and the, cl the clean, fresh look. Because everything is see-through. You can like ride on them. I've seen people that take pictures of the shoe and put it right on the front so you know what's in there. But I can see what shoes are in there. So I can see all the boxes neatly and then I know what shoes are in each box. So. It's a lot easier than, you know, 25 Nike boxes trying to read and remember where the last pair was. I'm just saying. Once you get rid of the boxes, you'll realize you never needed them, okay? Bye, Nike. Okay, vanity lights. Y'all, the only light that's on right now is my vanity lights. I've had these lights on my vanity for about two years now. They only cost probably maybe at the max $15, honestly. I'm surprised they have lasted this long. These things I can keep on for hours. And actually, look, let me change the lighting for you guys. It has like different. Okay, so this is the bright, right? Now we're changing. It's more of a brown now. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna do the rest of this video on this warm brown, okay? Um, I don't I like this in the daytime. I really don't like it at night, but we're gonna do the rest of the I'm gonna go back though. <laughs> but it's a choice, like, and I like that. And they have a USB port, like I said. This little mirror is plugged up to the vanity lights and my phone charger is plugged up to the mirror. Beyond me, okay. But yeah, I got my daughter a pair too, she loves them. She actually used hers on a lot and they still last. So I will vouch for these 100%. Refurbished, I got a refurbished Mac from Amazon. I, I'm actually okay with buying refurbished items like phones and computers from eBay and Amazon. Only because eBay, you can buy the warranty. Amazon, you can buy the warranty too. But the thing is, if it doesn't work the way you want it, you can send it back. So, you know, it's kind of guaranteed. And if it's not guaranteed, you can send it back. But I've had my Mac for about four years now. And I paid one fourth the price of what it should be. And it has worked. It has worked real well this whole time. There's no signs of failure anywhere. So I would vouch for that. Like if you can find, I don't go looking for refurbished, but if I find it, why not? It's gonna do the same shit that a brand new one's gonna do. Tongue scraper. This is for the stinky breath people that you know. And it might be you. Do you know that you have bad breath? Some of y'all got bad breath because y'all got a bad tooth. I had that problem years ago. Go get your tooth fixed. If you got any black teeth, get them fixed too. This is, it's 20, it's about to be 2022. I don't wanna see no black teeth or no smelly smelly breath okay because i'm the type will tell you that your breath stinks you need a breath mint i will tell you okay anyways this tongue scraper so i got a good idea in stocking stuffers this year anybody whose breath stinks you get them a whole lot of candy right because of course they love candy we already knew that they got bad teeth and everything but get them a whole bunch of candy and you get them a tongue scraper and it'd be like i got you a whole bunch of candy so i got you a tongue scraper so you could scrape off all the from the candy i got you right um and basically what they need to do is just like they brush your teeth then scrape their tongue, and then after all that bullshit is off their tongue, then they can brush it again, and voila. Like, just, since they, they never usually do it, just any time that they do it will be a win, okay? And this is a great way to disguise a breath freshener as a gift, okay? You heard it here first, you're welcome. And if you know your breath stinks, just get you a tongue scraper, like, you don't need to wait for the gift. <laughs> Bling camera my blink camera i keep it on my couch it records i have a video on this too okay it records two ways into my house so if you come to my front door i'll see you when yeah. you come in if you come into my sliding door i will see you on the camera i control it from my phone um if i see you in my house and i'm not going on and i can see you i can talk through and say hey get out of my house i'm calling the police on you okay i can say that and i like that and it saves all the footage i just use rechargeable batteries in it honestly and those cost me like $20 and 
I'm probably gonna get a million and 14 uses out of them, okay? It's a, cause this camera only takes two batteries, but I have four batteries. So every time the batteries in the camera goes out, I already have a stuff that's ready. I'm just saying. And this Blink camera has no subscription that I need to pay for. It's set and I can move it anywhere around my house, but I always keep it at the same spot. Cause where I have it, I can see everything, honestly. So if you need one, get you one. I have a story that I haven't released and I'll release it one day. As to why I really, really need it, don't worry, it's coming up. Stay tuned. <laughs> My last thing, because I'm, um, I'm weird as hell, I need ice cold water, okay? So I go and I fill up my five gallon. Yes, I carry it because I'm fucking strong. Um, I fill up my five gallon and then I bring it home to my water cooler. I don't drink tap, I won't drink Arrowhead. I don't drink Arrowhead tap, it's all the same, okay? Don't try to give it to me because I can taste the difference. Like Arrowhead just tastes like airy. Just like I don't drink a Pepsi, it tastes like air. That's why I drink Coke, because Coke is salad. I like me some salad cold water, okay? So when I go fill up my five gallons, you know, I bring it home. Females, especially. When you turn that thing over, how much water do you waste? How many towels do you need? I got tired of that kind of life, okay? So I got me a bottom load. You need a bottom load. It's 2022, I'm just saying. You can sell your other one on offer up and get you a bottom load. So I bring it home and I push it into the bottom. I don't have to lift it and spill the water. And this Brio right here, it costs a little bit more, but the water gets so freaking cold. Y'all don't even know how cold water really feels when you need it the most. Anyways, it's definite. This is this would have been a great Christmas gift. I would have loved it if I didn't already have it. I'm just saying. So anyways, I hope I took, I hope all the time that I took for you gave you some insight on what you could put on your Christmas list and what you can get others. Things that are actually worth it, okay? Um, and remember, Christmas is a season for giving, not receiving. But if you do receive, be very, very grateful in bliss okay so like comment subscribe let me know if you like any of these items or if you personally hate some of these that i've actually bought like um and stay tuned let me know your experiences merry christmas oh, and let's make 2023 it is this wish list is for christmas it could be for any time of the year please remember christmas is the time for giving not receiving these are for gifts to give you can get them for yourself but honestly um at this point in life we should all try to be the type of person who gets ourselves everything that we want. So anything anybody else gets us should be something we may not have thought we needed, something we are open to trying, something we are just thankful and grateful for. As the giver, the gift that you get from this is seeing the smile on the other person and it should warm your itty bitty bitty heart, okay? So that's the point of this. 